I'm Ariel Jacobs. And I'm Jake David Smith. And we're here with Playbill to talk about Between, Between the, the Lines. lines. Between the Lines is a story that really asks the question about what does it mean to have a perfect life? And it kind of asks you if you ever feel like you're in a story that you don't want to be in, or if your life is being written in a way that you wouldn't write for yourself, it's about whether or not you have the, the power to change that story, even if you're right in the middle of living it. So. It's a very empowering story. It's a lot of fun, and it's my favorite show I've ever done. I think uh, Between the Lines is about courage. Uh, the, the courage to uh, change the situation you're in, uh, to, to, to find yourself and, and uh, you know, your passions. And I think it's, uh, it's about the courage to break the mold and, and um, live the story uh, you want, even if it's not the story you're in. When Sammy was 13, she called me up when I was on book tour and said, I think I have a really good idea for a book. What if the characters in a book had lives and personalities other than the roles they played, and every time the book was closed, that got to come out? And what if there was a really awkward teenager who was obsessed with the book because of a prince in it, and he wanted out of his story just as much as she did? And I thought it was a great idea because it's really about literary crushes and how books save us when we need it the most. And I suggested that we write it together. So we did that and it was published when Sammy was 16 and she's 26 now. So um, yeah, some time has passed, but uh, it, was a, it was a great experience to be able to write a novel with my daughter and to kind of teach her those ropes and um, learn what a great writer is she is, a writer she is herself. Uh, Jody reached out to Daryl Roth, uh, the fabulous producer, and said, hey, could you advise me on how to turn this novel into a musical? And so Jody uh, came to New York and she took a meeting with Daryl and I was invited to that meeting as well, thankfully. <laughs> and uh, I had no idea why I was invited, but I, I was Jody and it was Daryl, so of course I was going to be there. And in the process, uh, I said, well, th the question is, who's going to write the book of the, of the musical? And I assumed that Jody would write it because she had written stuff for her teen troupe, which is an awesome charitable thing that you do. Uh, and when she said, no, I'm not doing it, I was like, oh, me, 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 me. So Daryl locked us in a conference room for about an hour and we came out realizing that we had met our new best friends and the other half of our brains that we were both missing. I play uh, uh, Delilah's mother, I play the mother of the, of the lead character who is very much at the end of her rope in life and does not see that light at all. And um, and I also play the queen in the fairy tale world, who doesn't really care about the light because she just likes her boobs. Thank you. I play Ms. Winks, the librarian. I play her lady in waiting in the fairy tale books. Too. I play Mrs. Brown, uh, who's a teacher from the Jersey Shore, who does everything in, wrong in class. She even smokes cigarettes. And then I play a mermaid and uh, Jessamine Jacobs, the woman who writes the book, wrote the book. That's fine. That's fine. So I play Allie, who is the, you know, popular girl in school, wants to stay in charge, and, you know, is a little stressed about Delilah coming in and being the new girl. And I also play Princess Serafima, who is like your typical princess, like loves the princess trope, wants to live out all of her fantasy dreams, and is like maybe the only one who is committed to that role. <laughs> Um, so I play Ryan, who is in the real world, it's uh, Allie's um, dumb boyfriend. Um, and then in the fantasy world, I play Frump, who is a, a half dog, half man, he's like cursed, uh, who tap dances, and he's in love with Princess Serafina. So, you know, in both worlds, power we are, couple. yeah, we are power couple. So I play Jules slash on Dean. Jules is Delilah's best friend in the real world, a non-binary high schooler. And then in our fantasy world, I play on Dean, who's like the head of the mermaids. I play Martin in Delilah's uh, real world, and I play the troll in Delilah's fairy tale world. Martin is uh, part of Ally McAndrew's crew. And squad. yeah, the squad. He's very much a bully, and um, 
he is obsessed with the social media game, and he's obsessed with bringing down Delilah. And then the troll is uh, the troll is somebody who. Uh, is really disappointed with uh, the author of Delilah's fairy tale book and uh, would have really liked to have been the center of the story. I play Janice in the real world and Marina in the fairy tale world. And I would say in the real world, Janice is like anti, an anti feminist. She like bullies <laughs> women and she is doesn't have her own thoughts either. She wants to be popular so bad because she's like ashamed of her own self. I think that in the, she actually fits into the world of Delilah and Jules a lot, but she doesn't want to admit it. Um, and in the fantasy world, Delilah, is, I mean, uh, Marina is a feminist. She's a powerhouse, a woman, a woman first, and it's cool to see those two uh, characters kind of overlap. And I play uh, in 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 our in our normal world. I play a Delilah School psychiatrist, Dr. Ducharme. And then uh, in the when we go between the lines, I'm the villain of the story, Rapscolio, um, who, when you actually get to know him, it turns out he's a very soft-hearted, uh, you know, silly, sweet guy who um, who loves collecting butterflies. Well, for anyone who's going through a tough time or feeling like they're not living their truth. I think that this is a show that will really inspire you that it's okay to be yourself, to be authentic to yourself, and to inspire the others around you to do the same thing. There's a ripple effect that happens in Delilah's life, and it's really beautiful to watch, and I think that everyone can take a piece of that and hopefully apply it to their own life and make things better. Yeah. I think there's a message in the show um, that you can't live in someone else's story. And I think that's something that I've had to realize in my own life. I know Elisa's had to realize too. And uh, if you just take one step at a time, you can start to change your story so that it's what you want and you live the life that you want. Uh, don't miss Between the Lines if you like badass music. Don't miss Between the Lines if you like joy and laughter and heart. If you like gorgeous men in tights. If you like escapism. If you like falling in love. If you like joy. If you like good theater and amazing actors and sensational music and these faces. If you like catchy tunes, hilarious jokes, and fantastic characters. If you're obsessed with incredible and fast costume changes. Don't miss Between the Lines. If you like awesome music, <laughs> fun dancing, and empowering stories that leave you uplifted and open your eyes to a whole new story.